I'm so sad because he was uh, he was like a brother to us all, you know, especially to uh, to a new Muslim like me, who never had a model. Well, he was like a model, and he made things possible where they were impossible before. I mean, I risked like he risked a lot for his faith, so he showed us that we could do that. May Allah bless him. Feelings about it today, lots of Muslims gathering uh, for him all around the world. It's a duty. It's a duty, and those who are here are, you know, are blessed. And uh, there are many who I'm sure would love to be here, uh, but you know, he he carries the hopes and the heart of many, of many of our hearts. Um, and inshallah, we pray that uh, all the Muslims will be praying for him, inshallah, today things for me is that at a time when many Americans have very angry attitudes towards Islam, the most beloved American in the world is a Muslim whose name is Muhammad. So he, he, he was great uh, in many ways, but we should always remember that he was a Muslim and he loved Islam and he defended Islam and he showed that Islam was love and peace and serving humanity. It wasn't like some of these extremists uh, say so we're honoring him here many people from all over the world ha have come to honor him and to honor uh, his soul as it goes back to its Lord uh, I've seen many people from all around the country in here to uh, say his last word but you know uh, lots of people just praying for him many Muslims all around, all the, around the world I think people not just Muslims but yeah, what's the message I think of this funeral you know? I think the message is that that when you love humanity, humanity loves you back. And he loved humanity, and so humanity is loving him back. This is, this is the vast majority of human beings. If you love them, they'll reciprocate. And if you hate them and aggress upon them, they'll hate you and aggress upon you. How can we teach this legacy to our next generation? I, his, I think his legacy, he said it, that he embodied a spirit of service, of faith, of love, of charity, of compassion, and he embodied those virtues that we should all aspire to. And, and in that way, he was following his prophet. He was named after the prophet Muhammad. He elevated his name, uh, even though his name needs no elevation, but he's a means by which his name is, is come to be known and loved. His, his, his name is the only star that rises above all the other stars on the boardwalk of stars in, in Los Angeles, Muhammad Ali. And in Arabic, Muhammad Ali means Muhammad is exalted. And in that way, he has exalted that name and he honored that name by being an upright person, especially in a time when sports, a lot of sports personalities are very profligate, they're wayward. They give bad examples for the youth. He gave a beautiful example for the youth. He never used drugs. He was incredibly disciplined. Um, he, was, he was a brilliant uh, spokesperson uh, for his faith and for his people because in the end he also represented the, the African-American people and, and, and people of color all over the world were elevated by him, by his spirit. And, and many people, I think he was able to overcome racism Many people, uh, white people, saw that, that racism is, is the wrong attitude towards other people because of Muhammad Ali. He, he opened up a lot of hearts. And I think it's obvious just from all these people coming from all over the world, the, the power and the greatness of the man. He said, I shook up the world, and he has. He, he shook up the world.